With the launch of NVIDIA's GeForce RTX Amphere-based GPUs, the battle in the mainstream GPU market has become fierce. Do you want to know what you're really getting when you move up from one model to the next with NVIDIA's GeForce RTX GPUs? Well, welcome to another video from Top Tier Tag, where today we're going to be comparing the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070 in detail. Jumping straight in, we're going to discuss the specs of each card, along with some important information and differences in terms of performance, applicability, pricing, and building process. So make sure that you stick with us until the end. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti NVIDIA is known for offering high-performance graphics cards even for the budget-focused audience. One such example of this is the GTX 1050 Ti graphics card from NVIDIA, which was originally labeled as a budget powerhouse for many years. In fact, it was so popular that NVIDIA recently relaunched the card in the form of the RTX 3050. Right now, the card that seems to be the perfect upgrade for almost any computer person is the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti. Similar to most 30 series cards, the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti is built on an 8 nanometer process, and it even operates on the GA104 graphics processor. The 3060 Ti has full support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, would help to ensure compatibility with all existing PC games, as well as upcoming games for the next three to four years. And being that this graphics card does come from the RTX series, you'll also have the advantage of the DLSS and ray tracing features despite the affordable price range, that is, if you can get your hands on it before the scalpers do. The 3060 Ti offers 4,864 active shaders along with 152 texture mapping and 80 ROPs. It's even got a large processing chip that covers about 390 one square millimeters space, making it one of the larger options compared to the previous budget-focused graphics card. In terms of performance, you can rely on the 152 tensor cores present on the 3060 Ti, which should be good enough to offer high performance in basically any game that you play on it. The NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti has 8GB of DDR6 memory and the base clock is sitting at 1410MHz. However, it has been known to go as high as 1665MHz when under heavy loads so as to offer flawless performance. The overall power draw of the NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti is about 200 watts, which is pretty low when comparing it to many other high-end options. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 a little higher up on the scale now is the RTX 3070, which is yet another popular option offered by NVIDIA in the latest graphics lineup. Due to the reduced price range of the high-end cards, again, that's if you can get your hands on them, a lot of users are preferring the NVIDIA RTX 3070 as you get a lot of additional benefits by extending the budget just a bit more. It's also built on the 8 nanometer processor and is powered by the GA104 processor. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 is capable of running almost every Every game available on the market, with DirectX 12 Ultimate support and 8GB of DDR6 memory. Coming to the RTX feature on the card, it is powered by 184 tensor cores, which does make the performance quite better in comparison. This does include results with DLSS, ray tracing, and other AI-based and machine learning applications. The base clock frequency of this card is 1500 MHz, and the maximum supported boost clock speed is around 1725 which does make the card look quite powerful in comparison. Other than that, you'll find a high number of shading units on the card, which is 5,888 along with 184 texture mapping units. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 is also built on the 8 nanometer process with a chip of about 392 square millimeters. Thus, it is similar in size to its competitor despite the added performance rating. And the same goes for the power draw, as it really only utilizes about 220 watts of power via the 12-pin connector. Now, before we get into the comparison between the two GPUs, if you made it this far, then you're clearly enjoying the video, so please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. It helps us a lot, as you can imagine. Now on to how the RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3070 compare. Now, we've already talked about how the cards might differ in terms of performance based upon just specifications, but how do they really compare? Well, knowing the technical specs and differences between the two cards simply isn't enough to make a choice, especially if this is your first time purchasing a graphics card. Before you go out and grab one, you do need to get an idea about how the card is going to perform regarding various aspects, like performance, target application, building process, and many, many other factors. Performance. The performance of the latest 30 series cards from NVIDIA has been the topic of discussion for enthusiasts
enthusiast ever since its release. Almost all 30 series cards do offer equivalent, if not better, performance compared to the two-step above options from the Turing series. Basically, the RX 3070 card will be a much better option than the 2080 Ti, as is offered at nearly one-third of its price, and it also ends up leading the competition to this comparison. However, the situation does take a turn if you're planning to overclock your GPU. An overclocked 3060 Ti is going to offer equivalent performance to the RTX 3070 card in competitive games such as Apex Legends, Counter-Strike, and Rainbow Six Siege. This helps to ensure almost equivalent performance compared to the RTX 28 Super. The difference in performance between the 3060 Ti and the 3070 is almost negligible at 1080p resolutions, but you will start to see a notice at 1440p or 4K resolutions whenever compared to the 3060 Ti. Middle ground between price and performance. The Ti series of graphics cards from Nvidia has always managed to cover the perfect middle ground between the price and performance. Basically, all Ti graphics cards do offer a competitive performance whenever compared to their successor graphics cards with the price range being closer to its predecessor. In simpler words, an RTX 3060 Ti only costs about $50 more than the 3060 Ti, but it is performance is closer more to the 3070, so keep that in mind. The performance gap becomes even shorter whenever you do overclock the RTX 3060 Ti, but you do still need to consider the future of your build in the long term. For that, the better option always seems to be the latest and more powerful graphics card. If you were to end up spending just a little bit extra on the card, it's going to be highly beneficial to get the RTX 3070. Even if the performance is not noticeable off the bat, you will find it's advantageous for upcoming games and other heavy applications. Also, it's just a much better option for 1440p or 4K gaming, whereas the RTX 3060 Ti seems perfect for 1080p monitors. Differences in the building process Generally, there's a lot of differences in terms of the manufacturing and assembly process of various graphics cards. The same was observed with almost all Turing cards, as the performance difference was pretty noticeable between the two cards from the same series. But that is certainly not the case with the RTX 3060 Ti and 3070. To put it simply, the RTX 3060 Ti is basically an RTX 3070 in terms of production, but with less power capacity and performance. This ensures high production and build quality for both cards. And also, the cooling performance is quite similar to both on the cards. Basically, there's not really much of a major difference between both of them in terms of production. Thus, for almost all applications, both cards are really compatible. When it is regarding the power requirement, or even the size and form factor, both cards are going to be compatible with your build. Pricing and availability. The pricing and availability of a graphics cards definitely does become a problem, especially for the new lineup of cards. Due to the sudden rise in cryptocurrency mining, followed by a worldwide shortage of silicon, the stock situation of graphics cards, processors, and even consoles is in the worst condition right now and doesn't seem likely to be back in shape anytime soon. Therefore, you do need to consider the availability of the card in your region as well as how much you have to shell out to get into your hands. In most cases, it's just beneficial to grab the one that's available right now. Waiting for a restock might take longer than you would expect, and it could certainly result in the current option being out of stock as well. There are many differences between the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070, apart from the varying price ranges, the card differing in performance, specifications, and targeted apps. If you still can't make up your mind, you need to consider the RTX 3070, at least in our opinion. By just spending about $100 extra, you'll be getting a much more powerful and foolproof graphics card for your system, as it can offer flawless performance for both 1080p and 1440p monitors, with acceptable frame rates in the 4K genre. Other than that, it's basically a future-proof card that will be a decent competitor even for the next generation of graphics cards. So, what do you think about our graphics cards? Don't forget to share your favorites with us in the comments down below, and we did hope that you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and again, before you leave, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ding that notification bell so you don't miss any more content updates from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.